Until just recently, your orthopedist would likely be recommending total hip replacement surgery at this point of your disease state. While it is clearly a more bone sacrificing procedure than hip resurfacing, total hip replacement is a safe and effective surgery and is performed nearly 400,000 times per year in the United States. As you may know, total hip replacement requires the removal of the femoral head and the insertion of a hip stem down the shaft of the femur. Hip resurfacing, on the other hand, preserves the femoral head and the femoral neck. During the procedure, your surgeon will only remove a few centimeters of bone around the femoral head, shaping it to fit tightly inside the Birmingham hip resurfacing implant. Your surgeon will also prepare the acetabulum for the metal cup that will form the socket portion of the ball and socket joint. While the resurfacing component slides over the top of the femoral head like a tooth cap, the acetabular component is pressed into place much like a total hip replacement component would be. Before you were taken to the operating room, your anesthesiologist will talk with you about the medications used during the procedure, and he will administer the medications once you were in the operating room. Next, the surgeon will make an incision in your leg to access the hip joint. Your surgeon will select the appropriate incision length and approach that is best for your case. After the incision is made and exposure is adequate, the ligaments and muscles are separated to allow access to the bones of the hip joint. The femoral head is then dislocated from the hip socket and the surgeon begins resurfacing the joint. First, the cartilage of the acetabulum is removed using a special reamer that forms a hemispherical shape. The remaining void will allow for a proper fit of the metal shell. A provisional or trial component is placed in the reamed area to determine the proper size and fit. Once your surgeon is satisfied with the size and positioning of the trials, he will implant the metal shell. The next step involves the resurfacing of the femoral head. Special instruments, such as the McMinn Alignment Guide, named for one of the technique's creators, British surgeon Derek McMinn, are used to precisely trim just a few centimeters of bone around the femoral head. It is shaped to fit tightly inside the Birmingham hip resurfacing implant. Once satisfied with the resurfacing of the femoral head, a special type of acrylic bone cement, which is well tolerated by the body, is poured into the femoral component to facilitate its snug, stable fit. After the implant is in place, the femoral head is inserted back into the acetabulum and the hip joint is whole again. Finally, the incision is closed, an external dressing is applied to the incision, and you will be taken to the recovery room. In the recovery room, the staff will monitor your vital signs until you are transferred to your hospital room.